I love Triple C. Uh, they started out just five years ago as an idea between Cheryl Houston and her friends, including Melissa Johns, about how it would be good to have the opportunity as a disabled collective to meet and discuss things and provoke some access and provoke change. Now they are a vast, vast group who have made a revolution happen. How did they do it? By being incessant. Triple C don't stop moving. They know the need to make things happen and they won't stop until they do it. The change they've made is momentous. Be it on the sets of Sex Education, The Crown, Silent Witness, The A Word, Ralph and Katie and Coronation Street. Be it in their incredible talent forums where they've encouraged disabled people to think of this industry as their industry. Be it in their setting up of a talent database, which isn't live yet, but when it is, that ability to turn to people crewing and casting a show to say, have you looked at the Triple C database yet, will be mind-blowing. Be it behind the scenes in their constant vigilant work they've done pushing change. This work is exceptional because they are exceptional. And they do it all in an inclusive way. It is very hard to stage a revolution and take everyone with you. Triple C do that. And they mean it. They practice what they preach. We were uh, working together on, a, on something incredibly tricky and Cherilee and I were talking at nine o'clock on a Sunday night and I was blundering about and saying, but this needs to happen quickly. And she wasn't very well uh, and was still giving me time when she would have much preferred to have been watching Taggart. And she said, <laughs> you don't understand. I am not me here. I am a thousand people and all of them need to be heard. And if we do this wrong, if we do this without them, all of this will be meaningless. The constant phrase they have is, let's take it to a focus group. Let's examine it. Let's make sure everyone is comfortable and happy. Let's make sure we've drained every idea. Let's make sure that everyone has been heard. Because Triple C have a central tenet, never leave anybody behind. Disabled people have been left behind and excluded all their lives. What Triple C do is, they don't just demand a few people are heard, they demand an entire collective is. Because of who they are, because of how the leadership of Cherilee, Melissa, Lawrence, Katie, Monique, Jed and Lydia have functioned, because of how Sammy, Becky, Natalie, Steph, Charlie and many others have taken their baton on. They have made sure that all come with them. And that is such a beautiful thing. And that is something that I personally, and I know many others, have learnt so many lessons from. Triple C are incredible, and the revolution they've led is only just getting started, and they have made it happen with little or no support. I hope what this special BAFTA means is that the industry are declaring that they will be treasured from now on, because they deserve to be treasured. Here are some clips from ex some extraordinary people talking about Triple C's extraordinary work. Hello everyone, my name is Shirley Houston and I am a disabled actor. My name is Melissa Johns, I am also a disabled actor. I am co-creative lead at Triple C with Shirley. Triple C or the Creative Confidence Collective is an incredible organisation formed in Manchester a few years ago to give disabled people a very much needed voice within the creative industries. Triple C focus on bringing deaf and disabled creative people into the arts and the media. I think what Triple C do, rather than asking disabled people to integrate into a system or an industry that isn't necessarily built to meet our access needs, is to actually stop and ask the industry how they can adapt and what steps we can take together to make sure that we're included. They are the go-to gateway organisation, I'd say, for anybody out there who is looking to get disabled talent, both in front or behind the camera, involved in their project. Shez and I have both worked in the industry for a while. We've come up with many creative solutions and worked with many different production companies and now we are working with quite a few broadcasters. We just wanted to create a space that felt so rich in talent. I've been going to Triple C meetings for several years now. I will always remember the feeling of when I wheeled myself into a room and there was so much talent in that one room. I was just in awe. I was like, wow, this is just something 
different, something else, something amazingly positive. What Triple C have been is a real force for change. They run DANK, the Disabled Artists Networking Community, through which they run masterclasses and webinars with industry professionals. Just having the opportunities to do the training courses, to get on mentoring schemes, to meet with industry experts, they've been a great asset for me for over the years and it's just been great to having them there, even just a sounding board. It just opens those doors. But also it means that disabled creatives get to meet each other and we can support each other and work together. It's a community, it's a place where you can feel less alone in the industry, where people just get it. They have brought people in from all over the industry to their meetups that they hold around the country and to have real open, honest, vulnerable conversations and to give people like myself and other people living with all kinds of different disabilities a feeling that they still belong, making you realise that your disability is a USP. It's a reason to employ you, not a reason not to. It's just incredible what happens at Triple C. The workshops they do, the support they give us, the opportunities they send our way. Riz, thank you so, so much. Thank you, Matt, for joining us. This is so exciting. Wayne Garvey, Deborah Williams from the Creative Diversity Network. Thank you so much, Jack, for doing this. Special guest writer, Jonathan Harvey. Good you feel, lots of love. Triple C have made a massive difference to my career. Around four years ago, I went to a workshop and that led to me being given a place on the BBC Writers Room, Writer Access Group. Um, and that led to writing for Casualty and working with EastEnders as well. As an actor, they've been incredible. I've met casting directors and producers who have gone on to cast me and work in theatre and TV. Yay. And I've got a visual impairment, so I've got an invisible disability. I used to hide it from the world. I'm an actor. I hid it at drama school. I hid it from the industry when I left drama school. So Dank has really helped me embrace my disability. I would like to congratulate each and every one of you guys for your tireless, tireless work. Nobody deserves this award more than you guys do. I'd like to congratulate the team from Triple C for this award, which is massive, for all their hard work, all their motivation, their dedication, their friendliness, their support, just everything that they've done. There are so many people out there whose lives they've changed massively. I was there at the very start, start in the big meet, in big meeting at the Royal Exchange, and going, "What the hell is going on?" And thinking, "This is so amazing. I hope it works." And it worked. And I just can't thank them enough for all their support. I'm so happy for you. This is so well deserved. From the beginning, you've worked absolutely tirelessly. You've been so dedicated into making real positive change in the industry, and it's happening. And it's because of you. What you do is incredible. You are unsung heroes until tonight. So congratulations, Triple C, and Dank, of course. You are phenomenal, and I'm very proud that you're winning this award. Massive congrats. Keep up the incredible work. Um, and between us, we will make sure, as you guys say, that nobody is left behind. Please welcome to the stage the mighty, mighty Triple C. Actually, I'm afraid I'm a bit too poorly to make it in person this evening, so I'm wearing my ball gown in my bed. We are delighted to have been awarded this BAFTA Special Award. Having our work as a disabled-led company recognised and celebrated by an organisation like BAFTA shows the leaps the industry are taking. The story starts way before this. Prior to forming Triple C, Cheryl Lee was creating opportunities for other disabled creatives. As her acting career developed, she realised she was able to use her profile and active advocacy to make positive change. 
Sherrily brought together a group of like-minded friends. There's Jed Mulherin and Lydia Mulherin, who are on Zoom, uh, Monique Jarrett and myself, Melissa Johns. Together, we created an organization that uses lived experience to challenge the industry's thinking on disability in a warm and friendly way. Never did we imagine that our organization would grow so quickly and lead to the huge changes it has had on the lives of so many deaf, disabled, and or neurodivergent creatives. The way that the industry has responded so quickly to us shows how ready, how much of an appetite there was for change. We built them the Disabled Artist Networking Community, a network of over 1,300 deaf, disabled, and neurodivergent creatives. For far too long, the industry were unsure of how to include us and scared of getting it wrong. But now, Thank you for working with them to get over this fear and remove the barriers that have excluded us whilst collecting talent with opportunity. Now is the time to feed the fire more than ever before. We must continue to elevate the voices of disabled creatives, develop careers and show the world the amazing talent that exists. We, as a community, have a wealth of exciting, untold stories to bring to the screen. We need to see more deaf, disabled and or neurodivergent people in front of and behind the camera. This is where it gets really exciting. This room is filled with some of the most influential, creative people in our industry. This room alone could make a change like no other. What would next year's BAFTAs look like if every single person in this room tonight made a pledge? A pledge to put us on the agenda, to put us on every single agenda, and for the first time in our industry's history, put disability centre stage. Let's enable our next generation to see so much of what we never saw when we were growing up. Let's see disabled creatives winning awards for their exceptional talent for years to come. The, and the solution to all this, it's not rocket science, it's dead simple. All you need to do is listen to us, connect with us, and employ us. Thank you. Thank you.